Mike, I've been waiting to do a video on the Philadelphia Phillies. You guys out there, free agent market, I kept thinking this will be the year. They'll get things straightened out. I thought it last year, too. So this is why I'm even more mad this year. I feel like this is a rodeo, and I'm the guy who's at the gate with the, with the Bronco buster. Turn him loose. Go go get him, Starkey. You know, Ruben Amaro, why is he still there? Ruben Amaro. I mean, the, the, the joke is who's he got photos on, but I just don't get this guy. He, they're, 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 there's, there's an idea that they have a salary How did he get cap. into Stanford? I'm going to ask that one. I've asked it before. I'll ask it again. Well, How did he get into well, Stanford? Okay, go ahead. I, I'm sorry to, to cut incorrect. your momentum. No, no, it's, you're not going to cut my momentum. The Phillies have no momentum. <laughs> you go out and sign an aging player, Marlon Byrd. Oh, okay, if that's your, your first move, but what else are you going to do? Oh, that, that, we're pretty much set there. We're good now. You, you, their, their answer the last two years is, well, if Ryan Howard gets healthy, if Chase Utley gets healthy, and if Jimmy Rollins does what Jimmy Rollins usually does, I'm tired of hearing that. These guys aren't doing that. They don't stay healthy. They aren't well, doing Ud what they Udley did six years Udley ago. Udley stayed. Pretty Udley had a pretty darn good year. You're yep. right. I, uh, Ryan Howard, But in general, Jimmy you're right. Rollins, Again, I'm sorry. To, I'm, I'm under undercutting no, your Stop cutting me off. In no. general, you're right. Yeah. You, you know, generally, and, and to have that be your premise to say, yeah. if Howard comes back healthy, we expect him, he looks great this offseason, I'm tired of hearing that. Give him something, to, and if he does, fantastic, but give him something in that lineup that's going to help Howard and also that you can count on. They had the chance with right field to get better and possibly center field and put Ben Revere off your bench and platoon him in there. They didn't do that. Marlon Burr was not a great upgrade. Okay, there's talk of trade rumors in Stanton down there and, and, and Marlins or, or going out and getting another Batista with, with the Blue Jays. I'm like, what are they doing? Pitching. What are they doing? Go out and get Gonzalez, used to be Carmelo Fonzo, whatever his name was. With Faustino. Come, there we go. <laughs> the, these are not, and then the bullpen. I'm watching, I'm watching middle relievers get away from the Phillies. They could have helped them. I just want to know. I'm just going to, I'm just going to go. What the plan is. I'm, I'm just going to go like sort of big picture philosophy here. Um, I, I, I think it, it would be, it would be hard from a financial standpoint, from the owner's point of view, to just spend big and become the Red Sox or the Yankees. Oh, cool. That would yeah. be hard for the... And the other thing that would be hard would be to, let's really get into, let's go the other way and go really into player development and farm system and trying to find diamonds in the rough and do what yeah. the Oakland A's do. Those are the two extremes. Okay. We're doing neither of those things. Right. We've got this idea in our head, $169 million payroll, which is $20 million under the luxury tax right. threshold. What, what is that? Where does that come from? I, I think they, they, they have a feeling that they... They want to say to the fan base, we're trying to win now. We're trying to contend. I think they think they have to say that to the fan base. But this isn't really trying to win now. I, as, yeah, as we talked about before we started taping this, Mike, it's not trying to win now. And it's not really playing for the future either because I don't see the young players that are going to come in two years. They're going to replace right. them. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Yes. And to win now, you didn't go out, go out and overspend to go get – and Ellsbury, go get a Cruz, or whoever you think is going to be an upgrade. But Marlon Burr's not the upgrade. The guy was in Mexico a year and a half ago at this time <laughs> and suspended two years ago at this time. He, this is your answer that well, if Howard comes yeah. back and Marlon Burr does what he does, seriously. Yeah. I mean, that's what, that's what he's, he's given the fan you're, base. You're, you're not yeah. wrong. Yeah. You know, they did not sell all their games last year at Citizen Bank Ballpark. They have a new TV contract. you think that would give them more money. Instead, I don't understand if you don't bring in the talent how you're going to excite your fan base. To, to generate more interest in this team. In a way, it's a lack of respect for the for the sophistication of the fans in, in addition to everything years, else. And I thought from 1980 on, when Giles was more involved with the team, Bill Giles was a buffoon in my opinion, from 83 on, this team sold that to the fans. Oh, well, John Russell can play first base. And Vaughn Hayes can play third. <laughs> Yeah, and we said they're going, okay. They used to come to our sports writers' banquets here in Lancaster at the host and sell us on this garbage. <laughs> and it wasn't true. And then they got out of that. All of a sudden, everybody wants to pick on Ed Wade. Ed Wade started making some moves when the new stadium came in. And you know what? They started spending money, and they put a product out there that, as fans, we were pretty proud of. We'd go out and spend the coin to go watch. Well, the, 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 the rollins utley howard Hamels group was mostly Ed Wade's, under Ed Wade's watch, for better or worse. Yeah. I mean, that, that's yeah. just that's reality. Yeah. And I just wonder where this, the future of this team is going. And will they get straight down until tomorrow is gone? But does this go bigger the picture? Does this go because of the ownership? Are they I, still pulling? Well, yeah, I think it is because of the ownership. They don't see, they don't see it the way we see it. And I, I just, I, I, 
the, the Phillies are. I, I'm, I've been doing this for so long now that I'm not as much of a fan of any team as I, as, I, as I once was. The one team that I have stayed emotionally connected to the longest is the Phillies. But I'm now at the point where I really don't want to see them win because I don't want to see, I dislike their organization so much that I don't want to see them proved right. I want to see them proved wrong because they are wrong. And I'm with you on this, Starkey. 